And now it's time to face the consequences. Paul's forfeit is going to be taking place at the world-renowned Royal Institute, which is the home to modern science. Come on. There's a good boy. Come on. Welcome to your punishment. <laughs> your audience awaits in the world-famous Faraday Lecture Theatre. But the thing is, they were oh, expecting world-renowned psychologist Dr Charles Fernihu, but he's, he's done a sickie. Anyway, good luck, mate. Be lucky. Off we go, dude. Tonight's audience have high expectations, but Paul knows nothing about his slide presentation apart from the topic memory. The rest of the presentation has been prepared by the other jokers, which he will see for the very first time when he walks into the great lecture hall. Hello everyone and welcome to the Royal Institution. My name's John Whitfield and I'll be your chair. Before the main lecture, we've got a short talk by a Mr Paul McCaffrey, so please join me in welcoming Paul to the R.I. Hi guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today uh, very briefly about the McCaffrey Principle. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Everything I'm going to tell you uh, is false. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just going to talk a little bit about liminal recollection and ekphoric similarity. Now, it may sound to you like that's the first time I've ever seen that, but the <laughs> truth couldn't be any different. Liminal. We all know what liminal is. Uh, recollection. Very self-explanatory. When you put the two words together, you get liminal recollection. <laughs> Ekphoric. Uh, a few of you are thinking Ghostbusters. I can see... <laughs> I'm just going to go through the words first, and then I'm going to come back. It's getting heckled. Ekphoric similarity is where you've got two very, very separate entities combined together, and that creates a necphoricism. And when you get two of these very, very similar kind of things, then you have an ekphoric similarity. And when this happens, you quite often will end up with liminal recollection. Is everyone keeping up with this so far? <laughs> <laughs> just to get a go over that, just because I think some people are struggling with ekphoric. It's a Latin word. Um, it, it's not. <laughs> It's Greek. I'm glad. I'm just checking a few. You look like you were nodding off. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, I... That's me and Paul Weller. He hates him. <laughs> that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've learned a little something this evening. You've been very patient. Uh, enjoy the rest of your lecture. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank Oh, there he is, a genius, oh, Paul McCaffrey. Doctor, oh. Paul McCaffrey, don't mind. You're going to be memorising that for a while. <laughs> there great. were some people in there who actually thought I was laughing in the face of science. One bloke kept heckling me. They hated me. The bank didn't give me a mortgage. I was like, seriously, why won't you give me a mortgage? And they said, why was the point of... Uh, first question is, when did you last visit your uncle in prison? What? Hmm. I've never had an uncle in prison. You never had an uncle in prison? What sort of question is that? 